Hi everyone. Today we're going to read a story called The Enormous Turnip. This story has been retold by Katie Drains and illustrated by George in Overwater. Are you ready? One rosy pink morning, a farmer whistled his way to work. It was time to pick some turnips. Oh, you'll do nicely. The farmer grabbed the turnip's leaves in both hands and heaved with all his might. The turnip didn't budge. I better give him a hand, said the farmer's wife. She hugged the farmer. He grabbed the turnip and they both tugged and tugged. But the turnip didn't budge. Jack was watching from an apple tree. Come and help, called his father. Jack dashed across the field. He took hold of his mother's skirt. His mother hugged the farmer and the farmer grabbed the turnip and they all tugged and tugged. But the turnip didn't budge. Woof, barked the farmer's dog. The dog yanked Jack's shirt. Jack gripped his mother's skirt. She hugged the farmer, he grabbed the turnip and everybody heaved. Still, the turnip didn't budge. All of a sudden, a cat bit the dog's tail. The dog ripped Jack's shirt. Jack tore his mother's skirt. Ah, oops, she let go of the farmer. Yikes, and they all tumbled to the ground. Oof. Well, we'll try one last time, sighed the farmer. Just then, a little robin flew by. The robin pecked the cat's tail. The cat bit the dog's tail. The dog yanked Jack's shirt. Jack gripped his mother's skirt. She hugged the farmer. He grabbed the turnip. And everybody heaved. Slowly, very slowly, the turnip began to move. Oh, it's big. It's huge. It's enormous. Woof, meow, tweet. At long last, as the sun slipped out of sight, the turnip popped out of the ground. Yippee, phew. Woof. Everyone Slept well that night. <sniffs> the following day, Jack and his mother chopped up the turnip. They had turnip soup for lunch and turnip soup for supper and turnip soup for breakfast. They even made turnip jam. Mm. Every day for a month. Next year, I'm growing carrots. The end. I hope you enjoyed our story today. Our story is a Russian folk tale. And some versions have a little mouse that helps out at the end instead of the bird. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And join me again tomorrow for another exciting adventure. Goodbye.